This video demonstrates some of the capabilities of the IBM WebSphere Application Server Feature Pack for Web 2.0. In this case, we're going to take an existing sample application in, called Plants by WebSphere, which is shipped with WebSphere Application Server version 6.0. In this case, we're going to take a look at the existing application as it's shipped with WAS, and then we're going to take a look at what can be done with the Feature Pack uh, to enhance and, and uh, bring Web 2.0 capabilities to an existing application. So let's get started. The Plants by WebSphere application in its classic form is a typical online shopping uh, sample app. It has at the top a navigation bar that uh, shows the various things you can buy at this website. In this case it's uh, related to flowers, fruits and vegetables, uh, gardening accessories, trees, over on the right hand side you'll see that there's a, a set of ca capabilities or activities. Uh, in this case it's a shopping cart um, that can go and show you where you stand with respect to your current shopping experience. Let's take a look at the flowers tab. And when you move to the flowers tab you see pictures of each flower and names that go along with uh, the type of flower that, that, uh, that you can purchase. If I want to find more information out about a, a given flower I click on its link and I'm taken to a separate page that shows me a larger picture and some detailed information about the flower. I can also see the item uh, details such as the item number, uh, the current price, and even get an option to add it to my cart. If I decide to add something to my cart, I'm then taken to a separate page that shows me my current shopping cart, including the item I just selected. I can continue shopping and if I do I'm brought back to the flowers page and I can continue my shopping experience again each time going through and looking at uh, the detailed information deciding when I want to add to the cart. Um, if I don't want to add to the cart I can go backwards and get to a different selection um, each time going back to the shopping cart panel when I'm done. In addition if I want to delete something from the shopping cart and decide I don't want it anymore I have to go back to the shopping cart panel and tell it that I don't want uh, one of the flowers that I've selected. And again, I can then go continue my shopping experience. So this is pretty typical of uh, classic web applications, the online shopping application that's, uh, that's, that's used across the web. Um, but it's not necessarily the optimal experience. Uh, for one thing, browsing each of the flowers and their descriptions is not particularly easy. It takes me multiple clicks to get back and forth between the details and the main page. I lose my context in the main page each time I do that and so it's, a, it's not easy for me to navigate quickly and browse through the, the features that, that are available in terms of the flowers and their details across the site. Uh, similarly, anytime I want to go to the shopping cart, I have to explicitly click on that shopping cart panel to see where I stand. So it works, um, it's very functional, and, uh, and it's capabilities that have been pretty standard. Um, but let's take a look at what the feature pack can provide uh, to enhance this experience. So this page is the same application, this time um, enhanced with uh, capabilities that are available in the feature pack. So at first blush, this Plants by WebSphere sample site is very similar. Uh, and it has a, a button bar or a tab bar at the top with the capabilities and, and the various things I can browse on the site. But now on the right hand side you'll notice that there's a shopping cart um, panel that is available to me and visible uh, throughout my shopping experience. And we'll get back to that here in just a minute. So let's uh, replicate the same uh, example that we, we used in the other Plants by WebSphere application and go to the flowers panel. So you'll immediately notice that there are changes with uh, respect to how the flower list is browsed. Uh, at the top here we have um, a, a list that can be scrolled back and forth that shows the, uh, the various flowers that are available on the site. When I'm interested in a particular flower I can click on it and I'll get information now down here in this panel immediately that shows me the larger image as well as the detailed information. If I want to look at something else, I can browse to that as well with a simple click. This is a much more um, usable experience from the standpoint of browsing through the selections that are available on the site. I can now quickly go back and forth and look at all the various data. 
when I want to add something to my cart, I can also click on the cart button and you'll notice that rather than going to a separate page, I get that information up here in the shopping cart list and it shows me my running total so now again without being um, forced to go to a separate page I can look at my current shopping cart the current total price for the things that I'm purchasing uh, a much more improved experience uh, in, in addition I can I can even remove things from the cart and again I don't have to do anything explicit um, the, the key to this kind of navigation and, and one of the key characteristics of the Web 2.0 experience is that with the use of some of the technologies that are part of the feature pack, you can now create a, a single page experience that keeps you in context, that keeps you um, looking at you know, just the things you're interested in without having to continue to navigate page to page between items like detailed information versus shopping carts. Um, this is a big improvement from a usability perspective and a big part of what people are trying to, uh, to add to uh, most modern uh, web applications. So this is a significant example in that it is an existing application that ran on, uh, in our case, the WebSphere application server prior to the feature pack. Uh, it used J2EE technologies, used J2EE frameworks to accomplish that. Uh, what's notable about the feature pack version of, of that same application is that we didn't change those technologies. We simply enhanced and augmented the capabilities that were there with Web 2.0 style um, user interface elements and server elements that allow us to navigate quickly through the information and provide a much richer experience for, in this case, the online shopping uh, for you know, flowers and, and plants. But you can imagine that existing applications written for the application server could be enhanced in a similar way uh, to, to get more capability and to move them forward into the Web 2.0 application space. I hope this has been an interesting demonstration of some of the capabilities of the application server feature pack for Web 2.0. If you want to find out more information, go to our website on IBM.com.